hey guys how's it going welcome to my video all right so i have another quick fix for you guys if you guys run into this problem um it happens on a bunch of different vehicles but um this essentially is a an intermittent a no start meaning that um sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't sometimes you get a no crank no start sometimes it works just fine um and Basically, let me tell you guys what happened. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was with um, I was with my girl, and um, we were out at uh, Walmart picking up stuff. Had the car parked for thirty minutes, came back and tried to start it, and I uh, had a, a no crack, no start issue. Um, all the lights on the dash were uh, were lit up, no crack, no start. So originally, I thought maybe it was um, the, the starter or something like that, but it happened. Uh, this wasn't the first time it happened. It, it ha it's happened uh, before um, a couple of times. It's a, 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 a weird situation seeing as how um, the, uh, the battery was changed out maybe uh, a couple months ago. I actually changed out the battery. And um, obviously, before that, we had a bunch of issues with um, with the battery going dead and stuff like that. But I didn't think that there was a problem, particularly with this issue. With this particular issue, the symptoms are, are, are a little bit different because it does actually start up some. Uh, it starts up most of the time, but every once in a while, you get this issue where it doesn't start up. So I went to the hood, looked at. Popped up the hood, looked at the battery, just made sure that everything was uh, was good and everything should should be good because uh, six months is not gonna give you a lot of corrosion or anything like that. But just want to make sure that the cables were tight and everything because if you guys have had vehicles, you guys have probably run into one of these situations. Um, it was kind of cold out, wasn't really. Um, it wasn't really extra cold, but it, it was kind of cold out. So there's a chance that if you guys have uh, an issue with corrosion on the cables or if the, cable, if the terminals, uh, that the rings on the terminals are not tight enough, you could get uh, a situation like this. So I just wanted to make sure. And uh, everything was tight. Tried wiggling a little bit. If you guys have in this situation, try wiggling uh, the cables just to make sure that it's not loose sometimes if it loose you could wiggle it to the point where it makes enough contact and you can start it but we tried starting it up after that it didn't really do much it didn't do anything it had the same situation so uh, um we were kind of uh, um <clears throat> well i was kind of afraid that it was probably like the starter that was the problem to be honest i'm working on the starter on this vehicle it's probably not the hardest part but but uh, getting it towed and, and all that stuff, it was like time consuming. But anyway, I went to look at the fuses and the relays just to see if the fuses and relays had any kind of uh, problems, whether there was a blown fuse. And um, to, be, to, <clears throat> to be honest, um, it didn't, didn't really hear a click or anything like that. Normally you would hear a click. Uh, in these situations where the starter was and uh, was the issue, but ended up swapping out the the relays for the starter and really didn't do anything. Looked at the fuses and the fuses looked um, most of them looked good. I didn't have a fuse tester on me to test out the fuses to see what the problem was. <sighs> so at that point, um, got into the driver's seat, started playing with the shifter. And uh, got it into reverse, got it in neutral, got it in park again, tried to start it, didn't do anything. And at some point when I was shifting it, I, I shifted it a couple of times. And I did one last shift where I shifted a little bit hard uh, to, to the park, to park out of frustration. And then it started right up. And um, just thought that was a weird thing, really didn't know exactly what what that was or, or whether that was something that actually caused it to work again so we drove it to a couple other places didn't think much of it and uh parked at a parked at a, a diner 
and came back and try to and 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 uh, try to start it after we we ate and had an had an issue the same issue where um, it 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 just it just would not start. There's no crack, no start. Same situation and uh, did the whole shifting thing again. And it didn't it didn't do anything. So what I did was I I, I kind of nudged the nudged the shifter to park. Now this is just on this vehicle with the shifter. But if you guys have the the shifter on the steering wheel, uh, it'll probably do the same thing. Where if you guys don't know what this what causes this issue, found out that it was the range switch, um, range 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 switch switch sensor that was the problem. If you guys don't know what that is, that actually reads whether the shifter, uh, the transmission is in drive reverse park or neutral or something like that and for you to start your vehicle you always need it to be in park sometimes you know it's not in park even though it's shifted in park sometimes you know it's not in park if the um <clears throat> if the uh if, if it if you guys look at the where, where the shifter location uh description is sometimes it'll be off of park sometimes it'll look like it's in park but that turned out to be the situation. If you guys are in this situation and you guys really need a, a quick fix, um, this happens on a lot of vehicles. And this is probably one of those things where you guys need to uh, uh, switch out the range uh, uh, switch. If you guys if you guys run into this situation where it happens often, it'll probably just keep on happening uh, where you guys need to just shift it, just, just hit it, uh, just nudge it into the park position a little bit more forcefully or maybe uh hit it with your palm a little bit so that it it actually reads park or if you're uh, if that doesn't work you might want to just make sure that you p give a little push on that uh shifter to the park position before you start it um happens a lot on on a whole bunch of different vehicles but uh, that was the thing that fixed it um, if you guys have the same situation, definitely like leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether you've had the same situation or not. Glad it wasn't something that was uh, serious, and that range that range switch is not is not the worst case scenario. Sometimes you can actually, um, in some vehicles, you might be able to tighten that shifter cable, and uh, so that it reads that that the shift that the shifter is in the right position when you put it in the position that it's supposed to be in anyway uh leave a comment a com comment section please subscribe all that uh, good stuff appreciate your time all right, guys take care